Hey guys, I am back with another video and today's video is all about the fragrance. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is her, this is she, isn't she lovely? This is the latest flanker by Lancome and this is the La Via Belle Elixir. And let me tell you, this is lovely. Now, do we ask for another flanker? N no. Do we need her? No. Do we want her? Absolutely. Now, there is a little bit of a backstory. I, you know, anytime I make a purchase or before I make a purchase, I like to look online to see what they have available if I'm going to actually go into the store. So I checked, they had it available. I actually called. Oh, yeah, we have several. Um, you know, and I don't even think that was the word they used. I think they said, oh, we have a lot. So when up to the store and she tells me and this is immediately after I made the call oh my goodness we just have one left so I'm like hmm but either way I was able to get the fragrance and I really wanted to get it when I saw that there was a release because of the notes I really enjoy the top notes that are in this fragrance now as you can see this is the classic La Via Belle bottle you know it's classic with the sharp clean lines very elegant in my opinion really sleek something that's going to really look good on your vanity and it's got that really pretty black bow on it now this bow actually has gold flakes which who doesn't love gold flakes in anything <laughs> but anyway this is a one point ounce and it retails for $95 of course you can get it from Ulta as well as uh, the Lancome website and I do believe Macy's and Dillard's sell it as well and there is something that's a little bit different uh, about this fragrance that um, is different from the others and you probably notice right off the back and the juice is a kind of like a dark raspberry some may even call it purple right now I'm kind of seeing purple but when I look at it under different lighting it looks like it's a deep um, or, or not a deep red but a, a light pink or a dark pink you get the picture okay when you line up all the other uh fragrances in this line this one has the darkest juice now this is a fruity floral gourmand and okay so i'm thinking fruity floral gourmand all right okay i get it i have some fragrances um that will fit in that same family uh dynamic so the top notes are bergamot raspberry and liquor and you may say bergamot raspberry and liquor so anytime you see the liquor um, note that's going to give it uh, a, a, a booziness to it um, kind of reminiscent of liquor kind of how uh, liquor smells that's the best way that I know to describe that and the middle notes are violet and rose and everybody loves rose right I think actually I did have a friend that could not stand the scent of rose and I couldn't understand it because I'm thinking that everybody loves how rose uh, how the rose smells and you know that particular note either way the base notes are leather cedar wood and cocoa butter and that is where the gourmand um, element is coming in at now I'm gonna go ahead and spray this fragrance okay so and just a quick note about the the sprayer on this it is very smooth uh, just kind of reminiscent of something of a higher quality perfume bottle and I'm sure all of you all know or have had a type of fragrance where the little sprayer gets stuck or just doesn't feel as smooth as others this one's very smooth now upon first sniff I do get the bergamot and the raspberry and it it is I do get that boozy element I did see read some reviews where some people said it was a little bit too boozy for them I'm really not getting that memo um, in fact I have to say um, when I've tested this fragrance I feel as though the bergamot and the raspberry all of the top notes it stayed present for as long as I actually had the fragrance on um, as the as it continues to dry down you still get the top notes you know on me you get a little bit of the violet and the rose but 
for me, the bergamot, especially, it's just kind of hanging around. That's the note that's really front and center. And after 15 minutes or so on me, you don't, I really don't get a, a lot of the cedar wood and the leather and the cocoa butter. I just don't get a lot of it. I smell it in there, but it's just not a lot, which is surprising because typically, you know, once uh, the top notes dry down and the middle notes a lot, you're going to get a lot of whatever the base note is. But on me, those top notes are just kind of hanging around, which I don't mind because raspberry and bergamot are some of my favorite notes. Uh, along with vanilla and I think you all already know that by now so the longevity on this I would say the longevity it lasts all day now there's a bit of a caveat it lasts all day as a skin scent you know it sits close to you all day as far as where others will be able to smell it on me I would say about four hours I still smell it at that four four and a half hour mark but it sits close all day I'm, I'm really gonna smell it all day on my skin now as far as the sillage you don't need a lot if you really want to knock the socks off of whomever I would say to spray two or three sprays of this but you really don't need that because for some reason spraying too much of this it, it just can become overwhelming I remember I sprayed a couple of sprays of this in the car and for me it was just I like the way it smelled but it was just a little bit overpowering so just kind of be careful if you're going to wear it in the office or at church if you're concerned about you know <laughs> how others may feel in, in terms of if they get a headache or not so when I think of places to wear this I'm immediately thinking uh, out with my friends or out with my sisters or my mom or to brunch uh, it's definitely not for me like a cozy romantic type of scent it's more of a, a pick-me-up or a happy scent or going somewhere where you know you're going to be happy and having a good time you know of course at the end of the day you can wear it wherever you want to um, and same goes with season you know should, is it best worn in the winter or the summer or the fall and I get it you know I get what or the reasons why people recommend uh, different seasons for different uh, fragrances but at the end of the day whatever fragrance uh, you want to wear whenever you want to wear it wear it <laughs> okay but I think this will really go good uh, in the fall and winter so you know th that's just my little take on it if you are a type of person who likes to um, uh, experiment or you like the element of surprise and you do a lot of blind buy I would definitely uh, say to not let the cedar wood and the leather in the base note discourage you because to me this mm, this um, really is a simple fragrance and what you smell in the top notes it's not going to turn into something on the dry down I've, I've purchased so many fragrances where or gone shopping in the store and it smells good on the first, you know, when you smell the top notes and then by the time you get it home, it stinks on you or it just turns into something different. This is a, a pretty simple fragrance where whatever's going on on the initial spray, that's what's gonna go, that's what's going on on the dry down, at least on my skin. So, hope that was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you are interested in this, have you had your eyeball on this or if you could care less. Let me know down in the comments Comments, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.